All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, time for the review of the Kaimano from Manganus Steel. There you go, Manganus. Very cool. You guys know Sharif. He's been on, by the way, before I go too far, this is the Knives Fast channel. Uh, definitely check it out. Hit subscribe, notif uh, the notification bell. Put an at in front of this over on Instagram and check out Knives Fast on Instagram and right here on YouTube. Now, Manganis, Sharif Manganis is a great dude. He's been on my stream several times. Uh, he's awesome. He makes his own uh, designs. Guys, he's done a bunch of designs that have been uh, with Kaiser and Kubi and I don't know, more. Uh, but uh, this is the first under his name. Uh, and this guy is on pre-order as I record this. This is the Mangana Steel Kaimano. Now, Kaimano in uh, Italian is Cayman. And you guys can see when this is open, it definitely looks like a crocodile or a Cayman. Uh, definitely has that vibe to it. Very, very cool. Now, uh, this guy is, as you can see, when you look at right off the bat, when you look at his box, uh, it is definitely, I like that, a Kaiser box. This is what you usually get uh, from some of the more premium Kaisers. So really, really cool. I'm going to put that over there just to help with focus, and I'm going to move this as well. All right, so this one is uh, it, from the Pass Around group, and I'm very excited to check it out. Now, it is titanium uh, with like a bead blasted finish here, uh, or it might be Zer blasted. It kind of has that kind of darker look to it. Uh, or a titanium nitrate coat, you know, some nitrate, not titanium, titanium blasted, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, uh, but I don't know, uh, but it's got this super cool chamfer that goes all the way around. Sharif does a very good job uh, with um, shapes, and I, and I think, you know, he's got a lot of influence like I do with cars and planes and everything else, and it's cool. Now, it is a titanium uh the uh, bolster lock, as you can see, so that is a titanium frame you see underneath there. Very, very cool. You have a titanium uh, backspacer. Why? Why are you doing this? All right, there we go. All right, so you have a titanium backspacer with kind of jimping on the backspacer. You have a titanium pocket clip. You have this beautiful natural micarta with a nice chamfered edge uh, all the way around. As you can see, um, you do have a captive pivot. One side, you do have a steel lock bar insert. You see a flipper tab. You see a hole and this great, crazy-looking swedge rhino thing going on here. Uh, we'll go over that in a moment. Uh, screws for your um, uh, screws to hold on your uh, scales, of course. Wow. Words are important. Uh, your backspacer as well. You do have a reversible clip. Two screws, it sits on the scale, so it is reversible. There is no lanyard hole, uh, but, you know, still gorgeous and beautiful. Just a beautiful knife. Now, these scales are flat here in the middle, not contoured, as you can see, uh, but feels really good in the hand, kind of fills up your hand. All right, let's hit this uh, jimped uh, flipper tab. You can see it is a light switch, just grabs your finger. The detent is great, like you would expect from Kaiser. Yep, not failing that one at all. You can see, drops to my thumb and just rides home. You have good access to the lock bar. And he kind of did something unique there. It's kind of got, um, uh, it's got a chamfer and it's got some lines there for grip, but they're not. They're definitely not like saw teeth. They're, they're, I'm, I'm okay with that is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and there is your lock uh, relief there, lock bar relief. You can see very well done. Uh, I love the color of that uh, beautiful titanium. And you have good access to your lock bar. I am very pleased with that. But you can see drop, bam. Uh, it's coming home, so you better get out the way. Now, uh, it is centered. Uh, you can see here, and it is locked up, uh, not going anywhere, left or right, up or down. Uh, our lockup is about, man, I'm going to look off camera, guys. It's about 50. Uh, it's very close to 45 or 50 there on the lockup. 
And again, as you saw, very centered. Now your second opening method is the hole. Boom. Uh, absolutely perfect there for that. And for the thumb as well, works really well for me. Now let's talk about this gorgeous satin finish blade. Uh, you do have a very nice sharpening tool, no problems with that. Uh, kind of have uh, your uh, satin is vertical uh, both ways. It's a little bit kind of diagonal up on the swedge, uh, but very close to the same all the way. Now you do have a gorgeous hollow ground blade, flat ground out here at the tip to give you a little robustness at the tip, kind of thickens stays thicker if you will towards the tip instead of getting super narrow uh, again that swedge is gorgeous let me wipe that blade a little bit uh, of course i'm about to cut something with it so i'm just going to get it dirty again but that's okay that's what we do here all right so a beautiful beautiful blade now uh, there is nothing on the blade except the Mangana Steel logo right there. That's the only one. It is a Tanto, as you can see. So you have that secondary tip here uh, right there. Very nice. Let's see. What do I have? Uh, I am running low on cardboard, uh, but, you know, it's all good. All right. So here we go. Piercing. Uh, well, if the cardboard would stay put. Yep. You definitely can pierce through there. And let's see, uh, in that hollow spot, guys, you see, it just absolutely glides through. If I can find a piece of cardboard that's not already brutalized. But there you go. Very nice, clean, clean, clean cut. Uh, very much does a great job. I'm going to have to, as soon as this review's over, I'm going to go in the other room and cut a couple of pieces of cardboard for my next reviews. I shouldn't have, I threw a bunch away yesterday. Uh, recycled it I should say but uh, very cool now this guy is available so let's talk some about that there are two versions there is this version for 255 uh, and a uh, purple haze fat carbon version for 275 and they are available at MS dash knives at, uh, dot com and you I will have that down in the description now uh, this is a pre-order um, so, so he says here, by, by clicking buy now, you are pre-ordering the knife. The estimated time for production once pre-order is complete is 60 to 120 days. No pre-order item is eligible for refund, so on and so forth. He's got all that right there. So when you're pre-ordering this, uh, you, it's going to be a while before you get it. Now, 6AL4V titanium uh, construction, uh, fat carbon in, in the case of the purple one or uh, micarta in this case, uh, hollow and reinforced tip with a harpoon. Blade length is 3.7 inches, and the blade thickness is 3.44 millimeters or 0.135 inches. Uh, handle is uh, 5.3. We'll talk about ergos in a minute, and the overall length is 8.63. So this is a bigger knife, and again, um, just really cool. Now he doesn't give us weight so let's do that real quick and then we'll go straight into uh some comparisons well, well first we'll talk about the um the ergos and then we'll go into comparisons 5.36 ounces it, it took a while for it to figure out how much it weighed um but yeah really not bad for the size of the knife now you do have a full four finger grip with some left over nowhere to choke up but no need to you can relax your grip and still have four fingers on the handle feels really really nice now there is a little bit of flatness right here you can see handle kind of flattens out so i feel that i would definitely not call it uh um uh, a hot spot at all, but you definitely feel that your jimping is perfect on that thumb ramp or nice flat area out here. Um, you don't feel the clip at all. Very nicely done. All right. So let's go to our friendly neighborhood comparisons. This is your friend, uh, the Ontario Rat 1. It is about the same length. Uh, a little, and the Kaimano is a little bit taller. You can see it's way longer than the Rat 2. So there are your uh, comparisons as well. So again, thanks for Sharif for giving this to the Pass Around group. And thanks guys for including me. Uh, very excited to check it out. And you guys should go to ms-knives uh, yourself and check it out and see if you're interested. So what do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up. 
and a comment down below and let me know what you think of this gorgeous look. I mean, just look, it's got a beautiful profile. Uh, and all the things, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, and thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.